Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing a review for All That Is Secret by Patricia Rayborn. I read this book very recently and I think it's somewhat popular within the Christian fiction world. I had seen a lot of advertisements and reviews for it before I ended up purchasing and reading it, so I I don't know, I'm just gonna do a review for it. Yeah, just to share my thoughts on it. So this book, I believe it's newer. I think it came out in like 2021. Yes, it did come out in 2021. And it is the first in what I believe is going to be a mystery series by Patricia Rayborn entitled uh, The Annalise Spain Mysteries. So we are introduced to Annalise in this book and she basically quits her teaching job in Chicago and returns to her hometown to investigate the mystery of her father's death and she believes that it is a murder. She believes he was like pushed off of a train because he was found, like that's where he was found is, um, he had been on the train and then supposedly he fell off but she believes that he was pushed off and so she wants to know the circumstances, know who did it, just get justice for her father. Now, there are some setbacks because she is a colored woman, so, and it is set in 1923. So racism was still a very big thing. It still is a thing today, but like, it was even more prevalent at the time. And she had definitely fought her way into the world. She was a professor of theology. Yeah, she had surmounted a lot of obstacles, but returning to her hometown and figuring out her father's murder definitely presented some new challenges that she wasn't ready to face but she kind of had to step up to the task too. So that is the basic overview of this book and it sounds really intriguing which is why I picked it up even though I'm not a big mystery person. Now the mystery side it fell flat in a couple places for me and some of the pieces like sometimes there were too many pieces and sometimes there were too little it all ended up connecting in the end and making sense and uncovering what truly happened it was very confusing for me and maybe that's just because i don't read a lot of mysteries and my brain is not used to trying to put all of those pieces together but that is how it came across to me while reading it. So the plot of this book progresses very quickly. Like the events that take place in here happen in like a week. And so much happens in that week. She basically goes from knowing virtually nothing about her father's murder to knowing everything. Knowing who did it, the circumstances around it, this whole like, I guess just cast of characters that are involved in these sneaky dealings. She also has a love interest that she gets attached to very quickly and I am not really a love at first sight kind of person and she does jump into this romance like so quickly. Yeah, sparks are flying, feelings are happening on like day two of them meeting each other. They Like they hadn't even met each other and then two days later they were already like talking about how they were feeling about one another and I don't know, to me that was just too quick and maybe because I do believe that this is going to be a series, you know, wait for farther down the road for them to grow into their relationship, you know, right out the gate is probably a little too soon. Uh, but that's just my, my thoughts on it. But very quick moving, I read this book in a day for a challenge that I did and it was very easy to like keep going and read it the entire day. Uh, the characters, whew, there were a lot, a lot of characters, but Annalie, our main character, she was pretty solid. I found her flaky at certain times, but it's probably just because I don't relate to her very well. And sometimes she would talk about like some struggles she had to go through, and then at other times it seemed like maybe she didn't struggle as much as she let on it sometimes her story didn't always add up and maybe that was poor writing or overlooked somewhere along the way I'm not entirely sure or it could just be my interpretation you never know her love interest was a very good character and I do think they will be good together later on down the, the way 
um, not right away, like I said, but he was a very, very solid man, like grounded in his faith. He was a pastor, just I really liked him, and I would have loved to tap some perspective, some chapters from his perspective. Maybe, fingers crossed, later in the series she'll give us that. I'm not sure if I will keep reading the series just because mysteries aren't my thing, but I think like if I were to just see it lying around and it was like on sale or something, yeah, I'd probably pick another one up. But back to the characters. So Annalise's character development, it was definitely there. I'd say most of the book focused on her solving her father's murder and some of the book focused on her relationship with Christ and how it, she felt like she'd lost some connection in prayer and she was trying to return to that. Um, I don't think it was balanced as well as it could have been, like there could have been some great weaving of the two within the narrative and sometimes it was more like okay we're gonna focus on her character development here and we're gonna focus on her father's murder here and not necessarily merge the two of them. Oh my door shut. So eventually they kind of were merged but not great. So another great character in this book was Eddie and he is a little boy that Annalie kind of looks after. She meets him once in Chicago and then he ends up on the train that she takes back to her hometown and she kind of just like looks after him and takes care of him because he's basically an orphan. He does His mother died and he has no clue where his father is. And he is a great asset to the story in the fact that Annalie has to look after someone besides herself and she can't just be thinking about herself. I, I really like that addition and I think it added some great layers to the story. I hope he's a series regular in the next couple of books. And he also plays a great role in helping her solve the mystery just in his own way. Like he shows up in certain scenes and unknowingly sways Annalie towards making certain decisions or not making certain decisions that she might have if he hadn't been there. Because again, she has to think about the welfare and well-being of this child, not just herself. And I, I think it's a great reminder to her that there are more players involved than just her in this scheme of solving a murder. So yeah, I think that that's my thoughts. It wasn't my most favorite, again, but it's not my genre. So I rated this three stars. I think I'd give it between three, three and a half stars. It was a good book and I would recommend it if you want to read a book with a colored main character and a mystery. And I did feel that the African American representation was probably pretty accurate. I can't be the best judge of that, clearly. And it was written by a woman of color, so even better. I liked it and I would recommend it if you are looking for the aspects that I have mentioned in this book. But this is the first in the Annalise Spain mystery series and I am interested and intrigued to see what she does further with it. So let me know if you've read this book or if you're planning to read it in the comments. I would love to talk about it and unpack it more. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye!